The majority of men fail to attract girls. Why? Because they lack the attributes that women want. So today I'm going to teach you the eight things you should never do with women if you want them to think you have the attributes they desire. Starting with number one, never allow a woman to open doors for herself. Men naturally want to assist the women we care about, but many women online claim that's not what they want. They're lying, and, and this is not just my view. There is scientific evidence why you should never allow a lady to open the door for herself so you can show her that you will support her. And it doesn't end. There are five other things you should never let her do around you, none of which require you to spend money. For example, never let her walk on the roadside of a sidewalk, never let her bend over and pick up something she dropped, never let her stand while you're sitting down, never let her be cold when you have a jack to wear, and never let her walk home alone at night. However, there are still seven more things you should never do around a woman if you truly want them to start liking you. Because if you continue to do these things around her, you'll never succeed with women this takes me to. This video is education purpose. This video is helpful for your life. So, let's start this video. Number two. Never send her these three pictures look. When I was in high school, I had a friend named Vlad who would frequently send photographs to girls he was chatting to on Instagram. And what I discovered over time was that most of these girls were never truly interested in them. I told them it was these photos, so don't be like him. Instead, listen to me. And here are three photographs you should never send to a female. Firstly, never send images of your day out to a girl. Women prefer men who exude a little mystery. So when you provide her daily updates on your activities, you're essentially giving her access to your whole existence. I want you to send her brief note when you're hanging out with friends, rather than updating her with images of your day. Tell her that you're with friends. If she asks what you're doing, then she's going to start wondering what you're doing and might even think that you might be with other girls. Second, never send random selfie pictures. These look feminine and worst. They look needy and they're boring. What is she supposed to say to that? You look cute. And third, never ever send a picture of your noodle, especially if it's unsolicited, but even solicited you don't want that thing out there because you know you're not going to be with her forever, and on top of that, girls aren't as visual as guys, which means just keep it in your pants. Number three, never mistake her niece for flirting women. Never mistake her niece for flirting women are naturally smaller and weaker than men, which explains why they are gentler and nicer to strangers. The difficulty is that most guys mistake this generosity for flirtation. So the next time you chat to a girl, I'll show you how to identify the difference between compassion and flirtation. Using the ping-pong approach, first, consider that every conversation is like ping-pong. The ball will bounce back and forth between players in ping-pong when they serve and return it. In the same way, a great conversation is a flow between two people. Talk, listen and then you follow up with good questions. So if you're talking to a girl, and you're making the effort of asking all the questions, but she hasn't asked you any, it's going to feel like you're playing ping pong by yourself. This is when you know she's being nice to you and not interested. However, if she continually answers your question, and then returns it back to you. With another question now, you're playing ping pong, which means she's interested in you. By now, you should be aware of three things you should never do with a woman. Don't confuse her friendliness for flirtation. Don't let her open the door, and don't send certain kinds of photos. However, there are three things I still need to discuss with you, which I feel the majority of men do when they are around women causing them to lose interest. This takes me to Number four, never say sorry, you heard that right. A lot of men, never say sorry, you heard that right. A lot of men say sorry for everything when they didn't do anything wrong. This makes you look weak and needy. So what I'm going to, to do for you, is I'm going to show you how to replace I'm sorry with three new statements that you can start using, so you never sound weak again. First, let's say, you're supposed to hang out with her, and you're late, instead of arriving all in a rush, and say, oh, I'm sorry, relax, you're a busy man, you got business to be. So when you get there, instead of saying, I'm sorry, say, thank you for waiting, and then carry on with the date as if you did nothing wrong. Second, 
If you've done something wrong, don't immediately apologize. Instead say, I get what you mean, and then take some time to yourself and reflect on whether what she said was right or wrong. And third, when you actually do something wrong, you still shouldn't apologize. Instead, you could say something like, you know what I'll do better next time. You see the difference by replacing sorry with these three state statements. You'll never speak weak again, and instead you come across as dominant and strong, almost like you're in control, like you're confident in who you are. Number five, never use offensive language around her studies. Never use offensive language around her studies have shown that there is no difference in intelligence between people who swear and don't swear. So you would think, oh, swearing is fine, right, wrong, because a separate study found that although swearing doesn't show your intelligence, women still find men who, who swear less attractive and less intelligent. So according to the study, here are the main swear words you need to stop using around women. First, these are the mild swear words that you can use, and they have minimal impact on your appearance. The second group are the medium swear words. These you can say, however, if you say them too often, or if you're around women, it probably will impact your appearance. And lastly, you have the major, your swear words, that you should never say around her. Number six. Never fake knowledge to appear smarter. Never fake knowledge to appear smarter than you are when most men are asked about a topic they don't know about. What do you do? Most men will try to act like they do. Know about that topic to try to appear smarter than they are. The irony here is that ultimately you make yourself look less intelligent around women, but you can avoid this from ever happening with three simple words. I don't know. It's that simple by saying, I don't know. You're using a form of intellectual humility. Intellectual humility is the act of you acknowledging that you don't know about something and that that is okay, which in turn is a sign of high intelligence. So next time you're in that situation, you can say something like, I don't know, can you tell me more about it now? You're not only appearing more intelligent, but you're also encouraging conversation. Number seven, never hold an alcoholic drink. Never hold an alcoholic drink when talking to a girl. Well, according to multiple studies that focus on how people who drink alcohol are perceived the majority of men and women as unintelligent. The reason for this is that alcohol impairs cognitive ability, which makes people think that those who are drinking are dumber, a phenomenon scientists call the bibing idiot bias. So if you're going to approach a girl in the bar, Try to switch out your drink for a bottle of water or a glass of sparkling water instead to appear more intelligent and in total control. And I promise you if you stop doing these seven things around women, they're going to start to notice you more and be more attracted to you because other men are still doing all these simply habits and that's what will make you stand out from the crowd. But that's still not enough, is it? There should be more to life than only this. Luckily for you, I have some good news today. What if it were possible to put your dick in any woman you can get your eyes on without even the slightest chance of getting rejected? It is possible, because what I'm about to tell you is helping thousands of clueless aging and even unattractive guys hook up with women who are levels above their pay grade to learn about that. You will have to watch a video that will teach you a simple step-by-step -step system that even the nerdiest guys can use to have women open their legs with this secret knowledge. The nines and tens that used to turn their backs to you before you even said hi and up in your bed. It shows you how to bypass a woman's rejection mechanism and force-feed feelings of attraction, lust, and desire directly into her subconscious mind. Needless to say, this gives you some seriously unfair power over women and pretty much allows you to sleep with whoever you want, but apparently someone. Spill the beans. The video got into the wrong hands, and now some feminist groups on social media have reported the video and got it taken down. They even threatened to take legal action against us. The reason these women are so hell-bent on getting this video banned is because they know they're powerless to stop the techniques it teaches. If you use this seduction method on them, they'd never even know it. And the next thing they know is that they're lying naked on your bed begging for you to them. And you can use these techniques as early as tonight. It really is that simple. So if you really want that much power in your hands, Here's how to get it all you have to do. Sign up to the newsletter, and we'll email you the entire video tutorial. I'll see you guys there. Please like this video and subscribe my channel for more important educational topics.